Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to begin working um, on the little waistband for the bloomer shorts. Okay, um, I'm going to set the bloomers aside for just a minute uh, because I've got the little waistband piece. Um, I marked where the two buttonholes have to go, uh, but I need to mark down here at the bottom um, where to line up with the side seam and make a mark at the center front so that I can line up with the center front um, of the garment also. Okay, all right, now I can take my pins out and the pattern tells me on one edge to iron it uh, down one quarter of an inch before sewing um, the back seam um, so let me go to the ironing board um, and I will iron down because uh, I need to iron down the top edge, not the edge where I marked where the bottom is going to go. Okay, so I'll be right back after I go to the ironing board. Okay, so I've got that edge uh, pressed down. Now I need to bring the back um, ends at the back center together. Um, and I'm gonna pin that, um, and then I'm gonna sew it with a one quarter inch seam allowance, and uh, press it open, and then I will refold and press this quarter of an inch back up at the back edge again. Okay, so I still have my purple thread, and I'm set to a straight stitch. So let me sew, and I'll take my pins out as I come to them. Okay, so let me go back to the ironing board and press this back seam open and then press this top edge down again, but that'll take me a minute. Okay, so I've got my back seam sewn. Um, I have repressed uh, the quarter of an inch along the top edge. So let me put that aside because what I need to do is I need to sew two lines of gathering threads one an eighth of an inch from the raw edge, the top edge, and the second one quarter inch away from um, the first row. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do in order to keep um, my seams lined up, um, I'm going to put some pins in along the top, lining up the side seams, um, the front, in the back seams um, just to kind of keep everything nice and neat. Seems like I keep putting these pins in at the top and then taking them back out, uh, but sometimes they're necessary and then sometimes they just kind of get in the way, so I do what I need to do. Okay, so. Okay, so let me set my sewing machine to a gathering stitch, and I'm going to start my gathers at the back of the fabric of the garment. And do the first pass an eighth of an inch from the edge.
Okay, this will take me a minute to get both gathering threads sewn. Okay, so I have my gathering threads I'm sewn in. Um, I'm going to separate the inside ones and the outside ones so that I can gather from the outside and not pull the inside threads. Let's see, I think my top gathering thread is a little bit tangled. So let me get my seam ripper and see if I can't straighten out this top. This will take me a minute. Okay, there we go. That just took me a minute to get that untangled. Okay, all right, so I'm going to start um, at the back center and I'm going to pin my waistband to the back center and then I'll line up my marks for the two sides and then line up my mark for the front center. And then we'll get it pinned all the way around and gather up the fabric. Let me bring this inside here. Okay, here's this for the side seam. I've made these little bloomer shorts seven, several times um, in different colors. Um, and, you know, it, it's a real pretty look. I mean, you know, I think you see a lot of those little button-on short suits a lot, but the little button-on bloomers are just way off the cute meter. And I wish more people would make them, but, you know, making them in here as I record myself making it, I realize, they really are a lot of work, but you know, they're worth the effort. Okay, so now let me start pulling gathering threads. Okay, this will take me a minute to pull all these gathers. Okay, so I've got that gathered and pinned on. Let me set my machine back to a regular stitch that's not a gathering stitch. And I'm going to start um, at the center back and sew a one quarter inch seam um, along the top and along the waistband. Just taking my pins out as I come to them. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this all sewn. Okay, I've got the waistband sewn to the shorts and it says to trim the seam allowance to one eighth of an inch. So I will get my fabric cutting scissors and I will trim this. Literally, I'll trim it in half. Okay, this will take me a minute to get all this cut. Okay, I've got that done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finger fold this waistband, um, press, you know, finger press it just to give me a nice little edge because I need to uh, sew where I had to stitch in the ditch, which means I literally sew along the line which is the which is the seam and I need to do that on the back of the garment okay so I need to 
bring this in to just past the stitching line. Let me, well, I'm gonna be stitching on the outside, so where am I to put? I need to put my pins on the outside. So let me catch that on the outside and then pin it. Let me see. Well, no, that didn't get it. This will take me a minute to get this all pinned. Okay, so I, I have caught it that time. Okay, so I started at that side seam and I'm going to work my way around. So this will take me a minute to get this done. Okay, let me show you what I did. Um, I need to stitch in the ditch along the outside here. So what I did was I poked the pin in, um, in the ditch, and each time I pinned, I checked to make sure that my pin was grabbing um, the lower part because when I sew, when I stitch in the ditch, I'm gonna want to be sewing through um, the back part um, of the garment also. So let me turn this inside out for just a minute. And I'm gonna proceed to stitch in the ditch, starting from one of the sides. Let me put my needle and make sure I'm right on, the, yes, I'm right on the ditch. Okay, so just taking my pins out as I come to them. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this done. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do, um, starting from the back, I need to top stitch just barely an eighth of an inch away from the top of the waistband all the way around the, the waistband. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the back with a scant one eighth inch seam and top stitch the waistband. Now I do have it pinned um, where I can stitch in the ditch along the front also, uh, but as I read forward in my pattern, I need to run some three quarter inch elastic through the back of the waistband uh, before I sew down the front of the waistband. That's why I pinned down the front also so that I could go ahead and make sure that I could stitch in the ditch along the front later on. Okay, all right, the next thing I have to do is I have to cut one piece of three quarter inch elastic according to the table, and then I need to reach under the front waistband and pull the elastic through the casing 
um, and secure the elastic by top stitching on the stitching lines. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pattern piece back for just a minute. And I'm gonna look at my side seam. Okay, I've gotta mark where the buttonhole is supposed to be. Uh, but as I look at my pattern piece, um, I had a stitching line for the casing. So let me, with my blue pen, make a little blue mark. And then one on the other side also, at the other side seam. Okay. Okay, because the elastic casing is supposed to stop um, about a quarter of an inch um, behind the buttonhole that's going to go on the side. So let me get my three quarter inch elastic out and cut a piece that's 11 and a half inches long. I got my handy dandy ruler here that I painted on the front of my sewing machine table. It comes in handy a lot. Okay, so I've got an 11 and a half inch piece. Let me put my extra elastic back away. And then it says using a safety pin, which I've got my safety pin over here. Um, feed the elastic through the front. Let me put my safety pin in there. Okay, so this will take me a minute to feed this elastic through. And then when I'm gonna stop it, when it gets to be about a quarter of an inch um, in front of the little blue dot, um, of this little blue dot, pardon me, um, and I will sew some stay stitching here on the front, but I'll be back. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but if I fold this back, you can see that that elastic stops right there. So I'm going to go ahead um, and tack that down on one side, and then I'll finish feeding it through and tack it down on the other side in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let me finish feeding this elastic through and I'll tack it down at the other end. Okay, so mission accomplished on the elastic. Um, uh, okay, now I need to finish um, sewing down the front um, of the waistband by stitching in the ditch. So I'm going to start where I stopped on the side um, and take my pins out as I come to them and continue to stitch in the ditch along here. And just take my pins out as I come to them. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this done. Okay, perfect. I caught it all the way along. It's just a little bit nerve wracking when you have to stitch in the ditch and catch something from behind. Uh, but, you know, that is the way to do it, apparently. Okay, so let me turn these little shorts um, right side out. Now, I need to use my seam ripper and pull out this bottom gathering thread. Let me so I can clip it here at the center front. Then maybe I can pull it out from either end. There, that's one that came out. Let me see if I can get out the other side. Let 
Okay, and then take out the thread on the inside. All right, isn't that looking cute? That's going to be so sweet with that little blouse that I made. Okay, now in the next video, I will be making the buttonholes. Um, and I will also be placing the button-on buttons um, on the shirt. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet um, because I'm concerned uh, that these two center buttons... Um, will only have one layer of, fat, of batiste to go through and I may want to be creative and come up with something to sew the button to so that the button doesn't come off the fabric. But thank you.